Audio Evolution Mobile has its own way of handling drum tracks that are a little bit different from instrument tracks. Once again, you use the adder to select a drum track pattern, and it brings up the uh, uh, instrument selector, but now you can sample different kits and find the one you like. This automatically brings up a piano roll that has the labels for bass drum, snare, closed hi-hat, instead of the piano roll with actual keys. So we can change our grid here to 16th and throw in a simple pattern. And you see it created a four bar loop and we can go back into that now and use the range selector to either cut copy or just repeat this so let's repeat this three times to fill out a four bar loop And maybe add a little flare or something at the end here. And it's looping perfectly. In addition to the sound font files, you can also load up any audio unit or interapp audio app. So you'll see here on the left, we have all the third party apps loaded up on this iPad. And uh, for this example, I'm going to bring in uh, Franke's Stroke Machine. And the app will now load up in the foreground. And if we go back to AM. We're now hearing a stroke machine through AM, as you see by the fader here controlling that. You can also load in any app you want. Uh, as a bonus here, I'll show you uh, a really popular interapp audio app is DM1, but their implementation is kind of shoddy. Uh, so I'll show you um, what happens when you try to load that in. It's going to sit here and hang for a while, and then it's going to error out. And it does this in any uh, IAA host, not just AEM. But there's a, an easy workaround here. Uh, we just got to wait for it to figure out that it's not going to launch. And that's interesting. It loaded into Stroke Machine there. But uh, as you can see, I come back here. There was an error loading it. If I play it now, I wonder what we're going to hear. Okay, we're still attached to Stroke Machine, as you see there in the bottom. If I launch DM1 manually, go back in here and select DM1 again. Now it's connecting fine. We can even tap back and get right back in here. And now we've got DM1 working, despite the error.